Hello, 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 and welcome back to this episode 23 in Ashbury Dales on Snapdragon Cities. Well, where do you find us? So you find us uh, in not our proudest creation. We've uh, we spent quite a lot of time on this area over the last couple of episodes, and you'd be forgiven for thinking that it was fantastic looking at this, that we've got Fantastic rows of terraced housing, plenty of green space between them, well-appointed schools with plenty of facilities. We've even got, as we can see, a town centre here with some people who have uh, arrived to park there. I need do no more, I think, than just come out of here to remind you of exactly what it is that was wrong with this area when we left it at the end of the last episode. Now, I've been running the game for quite a bit since then, just to try and let this area fill in and um, make sure that we weren't starting in exactly the same problem state that we that we left in. This area just it took time to fill out as we were getting a bit of residential demand tick up. A house would would grow in a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. We're, there are still some gaps, but I think we've got as much as we're going to get in here for the time being. I think because we're lacking in some services. We've got some good amount of services over here. You might remember we placed some along here in front of this park, um, but there's quite a long way between here and there, for example. We haven't done a really good job of making sure that um, that people over here have got what they need. I suspect that is preventing developers from feeling super excited about turning this particular corner of Ashbury Dales into the destination for their new uh, new property development. So we're going to fix that a bit. We're going to put some services in and we've got some space here that we left for it um, around here. We might find some space for a couple more bits as we go around as well. I'd really like for this area to feel very well appointed. It does also need a name. And as I've been sort of sitting here staring at this, I tried to come up with, uh, with some good names. I don't think I came up with any good names, but um, but in lieu of coming up with a good name, I've come up with at least a name. This area is called Halsford. Um, so we had a bit of a think about how to come up with a good name for this area. Did, even did a little bit of research into how UK towns get their names. I couldn't work out what to name this, so I just picked some places that I knew and slammed parts of their names together. So Halsford here, not Harlesford or Harlesford or anything like that. Halsford. Um, and if you're wondering why east and west, because we've got different uh, building themes uh, on each side of this kind of dividing main road through the centre. Uh, in one of our very first episodes, we established that um, this road travels north to south uh, as we were developing Whitehall. We quite liked the look in this direction. We sort of set ourselves on the bridge and declared this direction north. Uh, and so it shall remain. So Harsford east and west there have been established. Right. That being done, let's uh, let's get in and do some services. So we've got some space here. We're going to put a bit of everything down if we can. Um, we've got plenty of space for it. So no reason why we shouldn't be able to. Let's start with uh, some medical. There we go. We've got some medical in there. We will pop some pharmacies in in some of the spaces in other parts of the area. But let's focus on filling in this area first. I think it would be perfectly reasonable to see if we've got any other health facilities we can put in near the doctor's surgery. I think the yoga garden will fit in very well there, actually. Uh, so we'll take this path and we'll just extend it through the center of this area. And then I think we'll just line the gap with some trees. Now that feels wonderful. Suspicious of the terrain. So let's get in and have a little, little look, see if we've got this position correctly. It seems unlikely that those parking spaces there are going to be utilized. I don't think I mind the rest of how this is laid out. It feels like this is how you would do it if it was on a slope, right? So we've got some um, work that's been done under the brickwork there to make sure that fits. Uh, this is fine other than this parking area here. I wonder if Bob can help us out. So if we have a look at Bob, I wonder if any of these parking spaces are the parking space on the left. There we go. Right, so... It's the same as this one here. So if I take this out by setting the probability to zero, it will take them out everywhere and people might still park there, but it won't look like they can park there. And I think that's wonderful. There we go. So we've got that in. We've got the yoga garden into so the yoga garden is a vanilla building um, and it's going to be very difficult to make that look like it belongs in Ashbury Dales. We could use Bob to try and replace some of these trees. Let's give that a go. Here we go, let's try that. So we haven't replaced all of them. We've replaced half of them and we'll leave some of these other ones in there. I don't mind it looking a little bit, a little bit vanilla. There's obviously different quality to these trees, but I think that's going to be fine. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. Let's move over here. Let's get some fire and police services in here. 
there we go that'll do so uh, a few things we had to do here we've taken out the parking spaces here just to make these people look like idiots really like if there were lines here then you'd say okay yeah they're parked in the spaces and it's just a bit weird and it's the builder's fault but now it can't possibly be the builder's fault because there's no reason why they would park there. Look what they've done. They've just abandoned their cars on this ridiculous slope on the side of this uh, this fire station. Tisk tisk. We wanted to make it look connected at the back. So we put a small road into the back here, put a gate and some extra fencing around here. Couldn't quite make the fencing join up with the existing fencing. So extended it out a little bit further, put a fire watch tower in there and a path to it. Everyone was very happy when we did that. You should have been there. It was marvelous. Um, right police station there we go look at that police station we even managed to fit in a child health care center uh, as well we moved the little substation here over i think they do this all the time to be honest i think they might as well put these on casters for the amount that you see people out just wheeling them down the road pushing them down there all the electrical cables underneath they just move like i don't think it's so important i think that underneath all of this is just a sea of cables that are all just perfectly fine just being moved around if you don't want it where it is just shove it over the way um, so we put some grass around it as well just to uh, make people forget that it used to be over there and make it look a bit overgrown but I think we're going to be absolutely fine with that and then I think it's going to be great we'll get the game running I think the value of this area has probably just gone up I think the attractiveness of this area has probably just gone up but also I think the likelihood of success in this area has also gone up I think then we'll just leave this area to continue to stick up for a little bit longer. Let's see if we can get some of those pharmacies in. Um, it does a lot for happiness and happiness, I think, does a bit for encouraging people to move in. So we've got this Conway Pharmacy here. Let's pop one of those uh, just next to this path there. I think that will really help. Uh, and get one in there as well. That's probably too close, isn't it? So if we put that one there and then we'll see how they get on. They are to some extent competing with each other. Um, but you know that's that's fine they can they can do that and we can put one here as well um, and look how happy everyone is all of a sudden look what was what was once a failure so what we're now going to do is we are going to auction off some of these old buildings and uh, and see if we can get some new buyers coming in so this one uh, was previously a multimedia center so the multimedia center going once going twice sold to multimedia center there we go and uh, let's uh let's let that tick up let's go again no workers in here yet um but there are plenty of people around and maybe these people that seem to be just hanging around here for no reason at all this makes me wonder if we've got everything set up exactly as it should be here these people should not be stood around like this should they well that worked didn't it there we go we deleted the path underneath them some of them just vanished into thin i think that well, was the problem uh, so I think some of them were just waiting to vanish into thin air. As soon as we got them away, uh, we were we were all good. Um, we'll keep it on. Oh, look at that. We've got, an, we've got exactly the same situation here. Something very wrong here, isn't there? Is it because this is a road and they can't cross onto the road? So they can't... Is it they can't get from a path to this? Hmm. Let me do some investigating. It absolutely was that. These people who were stuck there, as soon as we had the path on a actual road that they could walk on to to use they have done look and they're going all the way around here to some crossing point ah that's so frustrating right okay so i need to put some crossing points in here let me do that okay onwards right we're gonna we're gonna move forward and by move forward i mean zoom out and go somewhere else we're gonna let this do what it's doing but i don't think staring at this and clicking more um objects in here is gonna gonna fix our problems we're going to start looking at something new there's a really strange gap between beechwood and lockborough we thought these two were going to be very separate i think when we started creating Lockborough, we thought we were moving really far away to create some new space over here where we would do something different and we did that very well but as things have expanded they're too close together i think to have nothing in between them and so we're going to try and fix that we've got some space here that i want to make developable we've got a few issues as well that we're trying to fix with this almost all of the traffic that comes in from this side of the map has to come in through this roundabout because it is the only way to get from one side of the train tracks to the other and into the city of course this road does go this side of the train tracks as well but it never actually makes its way into the city except via this interchange onto this motorway but you still can't go that way you have to go up and around and you blah, blah, blah. you can get there but it takes forever so we're going to fix that um so we're going to target this small area here there we go so i don't think it would be called crest hills forever but it is on the crest of a hill uh, and so if we get down to where the train track is, we can see this side of the line, we're relatively flat. If 
we had some space here, which we probably will use some space here as well. Um, we'll, we'll ignore all of that going on in the background. Um, but over here, we'd need to be a little bit higher. So we do need to think about how we might get from here to there. We do also have some other connections to make. We want to make a connection into here. We want to make a connection into here. And there are a couple of places you might think about doing that. Never once for one moment would we consider touching this area, which was the spot from which we opened our first video ever on this channel. Uh, and so this tractor and this field will remain untouched forever. Uh, and so we'll leave that there. But there are plenty of connections we do want to make. So what I'm going to do is spend a few moments just making those initial connections and then we'll regroup and talk about whether we've been successful. Yeah, what, what say you to that, friends? I think we've done quite a lot here that probably needs explaining. So we've tried to put a border around where we're going to develop for this area. We've made some connections in where we want some connections. So we're connected to the main road here to the, what would this be, a little works campus here. We wanted to make this connection in here, but it, came more, it became more difficult than we wanted it to be. I suspect we will revisit this in time. Um, instead, We've got this kind of this area over here connected via this road that goes much closer to the train line. I thought we were going to end up going over the railway line here, but we've ended up going under it and we've had to do some switchbacks to get up to a reasonable height here. We tried just doing a couple of straight lines up here, but none of them really worked. Let's get in amongst it and see see how we feel. So we've used a fairly standard bridge over the um, for the train over the top of the road here. I think we're happy enough with that. That then comes into quite a steep but not too steep a road up to the top here and you could then if you wanted head straight back down over to the uh, the back of Beechwood and um, we did some work over here and um, so coming in by the fire station we put a roundabout in here where once there was just a series of get ever closer connecting nodes that I think were going to be a problem you could take that road if you wanted out to this main road here and head up to Tesco or somewhere like, like that or into Whitehall that I think will help ease some of the pressure coming into this part of town. I do worry that this switchback does make it all together a bit further for people to get from here around around there, but we will see. It does also create an opportunity for people to come in here and head down to Lockborough, which I think all will all of that I think will help. Um, so we'll get the game running again because I think we've made all the connections that we need to make here. Um, and so we'll keep the game going and then we'll, we'll start to put some thought into what we want to do with the area over here. The last couple of areas that we've built have been quite um, grid and terrace heavy. Um, and so I suspect this area will be something altogether a little bit different. Perhaps we'll revert to something a bit more in keeping with the nicer area of Lockborough. Maybe not quite the manicured approach that we took to developing this area, but something that ends up feeling quite similar. Some cul-de-sacs uh, and some curves in the roads might be might be nice for a change, might it not? Um, I don't think we want to be doing too much uh, this close to the um, polluting area here. And we should probably give ourselves a sense of where that pollution goes to. OK, it's relatively well contained in the area here. So I think if we just drew a road, if we just drew a road there and said, right, we this far, but no further. And even then, perhaps if we treated ourselves to perhaps that and said there, there, but no further, we wouldn't be wouldn't be in danger of polluting anything, I don't think. So then we can start thinking about development. Maybe this area could be devoted to services and uh, maybe a, a school. I don't think I'd want a school really too close to that. But let's focus on what we do want over here. So we can do some some road drawing here. Let me let me take a minute or two to put some roads in here that I think will feel a little bit different to the ones that we've had over in the areas that we've built more recently. See if you like it and uh, and we'll go from there. There we go. I think that will do to get us started. Um, so we've we've got a decision to make so almost everywhere else and i think i mentioned this in the last episode we seem to stop short of developing on um 
the the mainest, the most main of the roads. Um, for no good reason that I can think of. I don't think I want to develop on this road, but I think I'm going to just see what happens. I think we're going to choose a couple of themes that we like and see what occurs here. We've got someone using this road already. Already. Go. Ah, right. You you work at the power station, don't you? Right. There we go. Tony. Uh, thank you very much. That's a that's a lovely Jeep that you've got there. Uh, very happy to see you off to work. We want to get some uh, water in here. I suspect we're close enough to this power for it to bridge across, but I'll I'll check and uh, get us ready to go. Right, there we go. Water, power and themes established. We can start then thinking about zoning. We haven't done this much, but I'm tempted to just to just go for it and see what happens. Um, we're outside of the pollution range here. We know that we want to keep around here for pollution to be pollution free so i'm tempted to just go for it let's see what happens if we do yeah, we've popped a temporary power cable in there to help the development keep going but it's starting to grow up quite nicely again we've tanked our residential demand but i think we'll see this ticking up nicely and look what this does for just the like integration of the towns in this area so we can see without much effort at all we'll be able to get this we're weaving down into Beechwood, that would feel like a very natural connection um, and probably some footpaths going into the, the backs of this area as well. I think the best thing that we could do right now would be to start establishing some of those footpath connections into the different areas in the um, in the build and, and see if we can't make this feel like it belongs here. So we'll just pause here for a minute. We got a bit distracted while we were doing the paths. So I was so desperate to make this connection here. So we've done it. We've done it. I had to do a bit of landscaping um, to to do it. Nothing too tragic in terms of the sort of the finished product looks realistic enough. I know the, the change itself can't possibly be considered a realistic one. Um, you know, we essentially just lifted the earth up here to make the slope less, um, which I suspect is something that's done in real life. I don't think it looks like this when it's finished. Um, but we are where we are and we did what we did and um, and I think we're going to find a way to live with it. This area is growing up quite quickly, isn't it? And it's actually looking quite nice. You know, we've got some pubs in here. Uh, of course we do. We've got some uh, lovely detached buildings, some terraced houses, the odd bungalow um, in here as well. I think this area is going to be well deserving of its place on our map um we've made a few road can uh, path connections here we've put a path here with some fences alongside it um again just protecting this area <laughs> at all costs really uh, we've got another connection that goes into town there which it does seem um quite a few people are already picking up which is uh, which is great to see um wonderful i think what we'll probably do is just make sure we've got all of our trees in the right places. We've got some that are definitely in the wrong place here. So let's get our big trees brush and uh, and just see if we can fill up some of the spaces where we've got some trees in here. I think that looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Very happy with how that's, uh, that's come together. It could be that we've left some developmental space undeveloped here. So I've resisted putting trees in this space here. I wonder if we'll be able to find a way to get some um, some service buildings in and around here as well. I think what I'll do, let's uh, let's make one more road connection, and then I think we can pop some service buildings down. There we go. We've got some service buildings in there now, which I think will uh, will of course help the value of the air, uh, the land here. Of course, help them with further development and leveling up of the things that we've got in here. I think this looks. Great, there is one more thing that I was hoping we'd be able to get done in this episode, and I suspect we will have time to do it. Keen-eyed among you will have spotted that we are getting more and more students and more and more academic works, but we aren't levelling up. Now, I thought we'd fix this problem, but it would seem that we haven't. Our campus attractiveness is insufficient to get us too prestigious. That feels like something we could definitely fix, doesn't it? We've got plenty of space for us to be able to find some more university buildings to put in here. We've got this entire area here that we said that we would use one day that we put in our university um, district, but didn't use. And so let's let's see if we can get our university to level five. So I think we can put in some of the larger ones here. I don't think these 
these don't it doesn't tell us how attractive they are does it so i suspect what we'll do is we'll just find reasons to put things kind of wherever we we think they might look nice and then we'll do a bit of decorating on them and see what that does There we go, that seems good. So we've got a couple of buildings down there, some car parking and uh, a couple of the same statue, which we have used before, so we won't make a big deal out of it, but it's uh, it's in there. Uh, so we've got the auditorium and we've got the bookstore. We've made it so that they're fronted onto the footpaths, which we quite like. Oh, there must be a toga party going on. Look, look. This is the toga party, isn't it? Yes, wonderful. I hope you guys are all having fun. Toga party goer, who is partying. It's a convenient name, isn't it? Ah, oh, they're all called the same thing. Okay, fine. That makes sense. All right, we'll let them enjoy their toga. What does one do when one is toga partying? It seems to me not obvious that it would involve walking by the side of the road. It would seem that they're dispersing. We'll let them do what they're doing. That seems fine. Um, right, did we make the difference that we needed to the uh, attractiveness of our campus? So close. Look, we're 35 attractiveness points away. There must be something that we can uh, that we can put down. Look, there's space here. There must be some sort of statue or fountain or something that we can put in. Well, that's a perfect fit. Let's see what impact that had. Is that worth 35 attractiveness points? It is. There we go. It's worth 50. So green, 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 green. We are going to get to level five at the end of this academic year. I feel very confident that we won't hemorrhage more than a thousand students and our academic works are fixed and permanent. So there we go. And um, we'll let the let the game run nice and fast and see if by the end of the episode we manage to get that done. Let's go back to Halsford and see uh, see what's happening over here. We're not getting there with having workers in the buildings and we've got some death care issues because we've prevented cars from traveling on these roads. Yeah, we'll see if that helps with the death care issues. Almost certainly going to be a transport issue at some point, isn't it? Because we've got so many people working over here. Uh, so many people living over here um, that didn't have jobs before they got there. It would seem that most of these people would need to work somewhere. Hmm. So I think there's one more thing we can do to help the development of, uh, of this new area. out. Then we're going to put a train station in here. I've been spending some time considering whether or not we want the train station to be... Uh, on the south side or the north side of the train tracks. At the moment, all of our train stations are on the same side of the tracks, but it is right near right near a crossing point here. So I feel fairly sure that if we put it this side of the, the tracks, we won't be, uh, won't be doing a disservice to the folks on the other. So we'll clear ourselves a bit of space here. And we're going to try and want to give ourselves a nice level area here. So let's work on that. And then the question is, how do we connect to the roads? Let's choose the station first. So let's pause the game. And I think what we'll focus on first is getting the train line connected. Yeah, that train station should be working and um, we're going to put some commercial buildings uh, around the outside of it just to give people something to do when they get here i suppose and just to make, make a few more jobs to make our problems even worse in the city we've done an okay job i think of getting this in here we've got a road that isn't um abominably high uh, or slopey we've got a train track that connects and a train line that is established on it so we're going to let that be what it's going to be we're going to do it just a little bit smoothing oh dear what what has happened there Did that happened to anyone else when they played the game <gasps> oh wow here it is prestigious we did it so we've uh, gained students and academic works and campus attractiveness we now have a prestigious five-star university which means we can get our technology museum in there our school of engineering and the beach volleyball club now i don't mean to i don't mean to say that these things have different value to the university i think um Having a school of engineering might help with the prestige of the university slightly more than the beach volleyball club, but who am I to, uh, to say that I didn't go to a trade school and I'm not an engineer, uh, both of which I'm sure have been evident as I've been doing this build. 
but that's fantastic news. I'm delighted with that. Right, let's finish off doing just a little bit of groundwork to the back of this um, now that we know that some of the buildings are going to be coming in. There we go, nothing too precise, but I think that's absolutely fine. Um, we were going to do something. What was the thing we were going to do? We need to do a bus route. Let's do a bus route first, and that might give me time to uh, to think about what I was going to do. Right, so for those of you who uh, can't remember, have forgot, or haven't been here in episodes where I've explained it, what we do with all of our bus routes is that we establish a, a circle around the outside, and then we find our points of interest and extend our route to them. So we've created our bus route round the Crest Hills area, and then we're going to just drag both of them down to here. In doing so, we will point out to ourselves that we don't have a fantastic loop around here for these folks to turn around in. And um, we might have to just be okay with that. Oh, can't be okay with that. We can't just say to the buses, yeah, 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 just like do a 17 to seven point turn at the end of the road and that will be fine. Here we go. This is probably the correct number of buses. What do you think? When you were thinking about how many buses we might need in here, were you thinking at least six? At least six at first. We've got the one that drove away, the, the four that are there, the one that's turning around. Any more? I suspect there are dozens of the things. Look, there's even more. Even more. Look, they're all over the place, these buses. What on earth are we playing at? Let's uh, let's fix this. There we go. That should be uh, should be a little bit better. So all these ones will just now head off and uh, and disappear. And so you should as well. So you should. You uh, You were supposed to be supposed to be helpful but there are just thousands of you you came in too big a numbers but this area is filled up massively quickly isn't it look at it and look at our demand as well it's all the way back up um so it would seem that our plans of trying to get a little bit of residential development done so that we can tick off some of that demand are not yet there let's have a look at some of the stats just to see quite how bad the problem is there so unemployment is two percent and we have almost 4,000 more jobs than we have employed people. Um, so it would seem that we are going to need quite a bit more residential development before we can feel uh, that we've done what we were supposed to do here. We've got a little bit of expansion room here. We could probably also just, um, if we wanted to get rid of all of this nice uh, nice green area here, um, and while, we watch the, while we watch it burn, how does the plaza catch fire? Like how? It is stone and water. I can see the trees as well, but it's not just the trees that are on fire. Like we, we're burning stone and water. How? How does that happen? And and you guys, you don't care, do you? You. Pierce Clark, a low wealth senior. What are you doing? You're not even looking. Doesn't even care. Doesn't even care. Oh, he's going to the park plaza. So he's just trying to get here. There we go. Nope, still on fire. Still on fire. I thought it had gone for a minute and then I was just clicking some buttons. I made the fire look like it had gone away. I mean, fine. Good luck to you. I've got no idea how that's going to end up being fixed. How could it be fixed? Fire engine can't get there. It's just going to burn down. And then I'm going to... Yep, it's gone. And then... Yep. Yeah, okay. Fine. Thank you, mods, for re-establishing our burnt down thing. Well, I hope Pierce enjoys his day. Uh, so we could probably um, just take up all of this and develop this down into the back of Beechwood, uh, and that would probably be a good idea. And um, we're probably also going to have to try and find somewhere else on the map. So we should name this area at some point. We'll give it a similar name to here. Dale Hills, Crest Hills can't possibly be right. Halsford. Um, we are trying. I promise I'm trying. Uh, but these buildings are just <laughs> they're not willing to stay in existence. So I'm going to leave them like this for now and hope the rest don't fall into disrepair. It does maybe seem like we found an equilibrium here. Um, but who knows? Time will tell. Um, it was pointed out to me as well just before we close off that I didn't actually connect all of this area to the monument up here. Um, and as much as I promised, I wasn't just going to jam a road up there. Um, do you know what? I just can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I've been told that I should. Um, but can I, can I do it? Can I do it in a way that makes sense? We're going to go with it just to say that we did it, right? We know it's not good. We know that. We know that. We don't need to say it. Feel free to say it in the comments. Feel free to just go there and say, Simon, it's not good. Um, and I will know. And we shall bond over that, no doubt. Let's think about our name. I'm not happy with this.
Lock Meadow. There we go. It's near Lockborough. Don't think it's a meadow, but Lock Meadow sounds lovely. Uh, and so this will be Lock Meadow Station. There we go. Wonderful. So Lock Meadow and Hals Halsford have developed nicely. City is doing very well. Other than that, we've got plenty of people. We need more. And we need more to fill up the jobs that we've got. I think we're in a good spot, though. Let's find some folks to follow around the areas that we've built in this episode and wrap it up. And there you have it, episode 23 of Ashbury Dales in the Books. And what an episode it was. We managed to develop this uh, this new area quite rapidly. I think it's probably too small. You know, we've got lots more residential demand. We've got a lot more need for um, employable workers in our city. So we'll probably spend the next episode or two trying to find some more places to put some more residential development in amongst some more fun stuff uh, along the way, no doubt. Um, whatever we do next, whatever we've done before, this area is fantastic. I really like it. If you like it too, please feel free to like the video. If you do that, then please leave a comment. Let me know what it was you liked about it. Once you've done that, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with everything that we do here. All that being said, thank you very much for spending your time with me. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care and goodbye.